We all have bad dreams, and when kids do, they tend to be more like nightmares. Along with having nightmare fears, six-year-old Quinn Arndt decided to do something about it. And that's how Fluff the Dream Owl came to life. Quinn came up with an idea in art class at school, and now Fluff is as real as life itself and has helped many kids, even adults, overcome those nightmare fears and nightmares. Quinn Arndt and his mom is here, and they both made sure that Fluff the Owl came to life. It's good to see you, you guys. Thank you. It's hey, Quinn, high five right here. How old are you? Six. You're six years old and you're already an <laughs> author? That is so cool. I bet you have a lot of fans. So I kind of explain how you came up with Fluff, but will you tell me how did the idea come to you? Mm. So I made him an art class, yeah. and then I knew... For two reasons, I know the owls um, are awake at night. Right, so they can watch out for you. Yep. And that I thought it was a cool idea. I think it's a cool <laughs> idea, too. And does Fluff help you at night? How does he help you? He collects the bedrooms, uses them for um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, <laughs> and... <laughs> After dinner, chocolate-covered bad dreams. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> he seems like he's a best friend. That's awesome. Yes. So how did this book project... Oh, look at him. He's hugging it. That's so cute. How did the book project come to life, Anne? Yeah, so for a couple of years, Quinn was afraid to go to sleep at night. He was afraid what was going to happen in his dreams because he was having quite a few nightmares. Right. So as a parent, I really felt helpless um, until I, I started to teach Quinn, you know, that nothing in his dreams could hurt him, that his dreams were just his mind-telling stories. And in the meantime, Quinn created Fluff the Owl in art class. Aww. And um, about two or three weeks after making him, I was leaving Quinn's room for the night and saying good night. And he said, hey, Mom, you know Fluff? And Fluff was sitting there on his dresser. And I said, yeah. He said, he's been helping me with my bad dreams. And I said, really? And he said, yeah. He said, uh, he's been eating the bad dreams. And he's been flying in them with me and helping me change them. And I just stopped in my tracks right then. I thought, wow, he has not been afraid to go to sleep at night for two or three weeks. And so I knew something was really working. And as a psychotherapist, I know how powerful the mind and imagination right. are. And especially for a child, if they can believe it, if they can think it, then it's so in the reality. I love this. This is an empowerment tool then. So what are Absolutely. you hoping kids take away from Fluff the yeah, Owl? And exactly that. We're hoping it's an empowerment tool mm -hmm. to, to reassure them that you know, nothing in their dreams can hurt them. And that to introduce them to the concept that, you know, what, what's in your mind really affects you. It affects you during the day. It affects your dreams at night. You know, like Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. And so mm -hmm. to introduce children to that concept that a young Power of age, thought. Yes, that's powerful. wonderful. And you prove so. to yourself you can. You can fight those nightmares, but you can also become an author at six years <laughs> old. That's very empowering. Now, you went to Children's Hospital recently. Tell me about that visit. Yeah, we did. So um, during the month of December, we took 100 owls and 100 books to oh. Children's Hospital. And volunteers delivered them to the children that were staying there. And um, those were largely donated by friends and family, and we donated some as well. That's really cool. Did yeah. that make you feel good to make the other kids feel good? Right? Uh -huh. You're doing something special. Is this your first book, or have you written any others? It is our first book. Um, writing a children's book is never anything I had thought about uh -huh. um, or necessarily wanted to do. Just the events of our lives, you know, really naturally led into this. I felt like our, the learning that we had was such a powerful experience and I had bad dreams when I as I was growing yeah, up. Yeah, everybody and, does. Yeah. And I just remember how scary it was. So the thought of helping other children and adults um, was so big that it's something we just had to do. So when you buy the book, does the owl come with it? You can actually buy them together or you can okay. buy them separate. Okay, perfect. And where can we get them? Yeah, so you can get them on our website which is fluffowl.com. There's also two fantastic stores in the Denver Metro that are carrying them. Timbuk Toys mm -hmm. in University Hills is carrying our products and uh, Beyond the Blackboard at Southland. I love what you're doing. Do you have future plans, maybe a sequel with Fluff the Owl? Yeah, so we're working uh, right now on Fluff the Owl Afraid of the Dark because that's actually a bigger issue for children. Mm -hmm. And um, with this book this year, we're planning to bring 500 more books and owls to children this, this uh, year. So we're partnering with a couple organizations to raise money to make that happen. Very nice. Can I see the original fluff? Yeah. Look at that. Really cool. Compare Ooh. their original fluff 
to your fluff. He made this and created all of this. Quinn, pretty awesome. Right there, can I get a Knuckles? Knuckles there <laughs> with Fluff the Owl. Mm -hmm. Fluff the Dream Owl is the story, an adventurous boy and his magical dream owl as they team up and fly through scary dreams. Fluff teaches the boy to change his dreams through the power of imagination. The hardback version and Fluff Owls are available to order online. Just go to fluffowl.com. That's fluffowl.com. Also, the Kindle version is currently available at amazon.com. Portions of the proceeds go to Cherry. So do pick it up.